an awesome day because we are opening up a ton of vintage Pokemon booster packs right in front of me. I have 40 envelopes, and you might be wondering what's inside of these envelopes. Well, we have Japanese Rocket, Jungle, Fossil. We have the Neo sets. We've got Gym Challenge. There are six different sets in here, but the best part about it is every single one of these sets and these booster packs are going to have holo cards inside. That's right. Holo cards from way back in the day. I'm talking 1998, 99, 2000. So what I'm going to do is just a quick shuffle up of these. These were mixed up a bunch of times already, but why not do it one more time for good luck. So if you guys are excited to jump into the madness, then sit back, relax, grab a snack, and let's get into it. We are going to just jump right into this and get it going. So, we're going to start off with the one, the only. We've got Trillix going in first. Check it out. 2676. Ed, you're going in with five packs. So, what we're going to do is start on the left side here. We're going to grab one, two. We've got three, four, and five. So, Let's do it like this. Let's start with that first envelope and let's see what we got. So, we, they're all mixed up here. They could be one of six different sets. So, our first pack is going to be... Oh, yes. We're starting off with an OG, a classic. This is Fossil. There's some big hitters in here. The legendary birds are inside of here. You could also get out that Dragonite. So, let's do it. We got Justin in the house. Musa, we got Trippy Blastoise 93. Jericho is here. Quick spoken game. Justin, I'm doing well. The fingers have recovered from the huge stream that we had the last couple of days, so I'm ready to get back into it. Our first back here for Trillix. We're going to take that first card. We're going to put it to the back. That should be the hollow. So we are going to start off with Mr. Fuji. We got a Gold Duck. We've got a Ghastly. We also have. Fossil, Sensacool, Zubat, come on, let's get some first pack magic, Slowpoke, ooh, we got the Ditto, the classic Ditto grin, check it out, Ditto holo card, out of the first pack for Trillix, so, I'm gonna throw this one in a penny sleeve, and check it out, every single, uh, every single pack from these OG vintage sets, have a hollow so you can expect to hit 40 hollows in this opening we're looking for some of the big hitters though for sure so there it is ditto out of the first pack all right pack number two let's see what we got don't forget there's the neo sets with gen 2 pokemon and jungle okay another nice one this is a uh, another gen 1 classic this is the second set of pokemon cards and if you notice the japanese sets they have like all kinds of different pokemon on the actual booster packs themselves so the designs on these are really nice and we're jumping into jungle. Let's see what we get out of this one. <clears throat> All right. Second pack. What do you guys think we're going to get out of this one? Scyther could be one. We get some of those evolutions. Ooh, we got that Butterfree. Original artworks. All OG cards, guys. These are all at least 20 year, years old plus. Oddish. We got a Cubone looking up into the sky. We got a Meowth. Eevee. We got a Pikachu, the jungle version of Pikachu. Bioplume is our hollow hit out of this one as well. It's got a swirl on the side there. Right on the right side on the bottom, we got the Bioplume, grass type Pokemon, 80 HP. If you'll notice, the Japanese cards have really nice hollow patterns as well. They're usually really good quality. The only thing you have to worry about on these would be the centering if you want to grade these for PSA. So you can see this one is off left to right a bit. So it would not get the PSA 10. But, it's a solid hit out of our second one. So, how about we do this? Let's crack the next three for Trillix. And let's see. If you are here for Trillix, throw down the luck. And we got another different pack. We got a Neo Genesis. Nice. So, Neo Genesis, another big hitter. This is Gen 2, the first print run of Gen 2 Pokemon. Lugia, all of the Gen 2 starters in here. There's a lot of big hitters. Pichu is in here. One of my favorite sets of all time. All right. So we're going to have that one. We're also going to have... Yeah, I noticed that too. I don't know what's why it's like that. It's a little bit more blue. I don't know what's going on with that. But all right. Yeah, the lighting, it looks a little different for some reason. I didn't change anything. 
We also have Discovery. Dude, you're getting every single pack out of this uh, this opening here. So we got Discovery as well. That's a Gen 2 set. Genesis Discovery. And then we... Oh, stay there. And then we got one more. Can we get one more different set? Let's see. The third... Or the fifth pack. It's another different one. We got... Five different packs. That's six. So we got Jim Challenge. You get the Dark Charizard out of here. This one, you could go for Umbreon, Espeon, a lot of cool stuff. So I say let's start it off here. These aren't going to sell. I say we start off here with the Gen 2. Okay, let's go. Gen 2, Neo Genesis. Of course, I would say the biggest hits are the Lugia and the Typhlosion. Those would be like the top two hits in Neo Genesis. Let's even get one of those. All right. Got a Hoot Hoot. Got St. Germain in the house. Roxanne Nat is here. We got Ryan. Johnny Casino in the house. Let's go. Get a hop it. Oh, I skipped one. Pikachu. Come on. Got another Oddish. A different artwork from a different set. All right. Meganium Halloween. We got a starter. The grass type Pokemon. Back in the day, Gen 2 was Shikorita, Totodile, and Cyndaquil. We got Cyndaquil's final evolution, the Meganium. That is a solid hit as well. Check it out. Ken Sugimori artwork number 154. Let me know what you guys think of this one. Did you guys pick Chikorita back in the day with Gen 2? Japanese cards with the original back. They changed those when they, they flipped it over to the uh, E-Series of Pokemon cards. And actually, right before that, we hit the Bayleaf. So we got the evolution right before it. So three packs in so far. We've got two more. I say let's move back to Gen 1 with this set. Of course, you could get Blaine's Charizard out of it, which is a huge hit. Let's see what we get out of here. It's really cool to be able to see all these sets opened up with one another. So we're, you're going to see six different sets. Ooh, Imakune's Do Duo. All right. This is big. I've never pulled this card. For some reason, all of the challenge, gym, gym challenge Japanese sets that I've opened up, we've, I've never seen the Imakunis do do duo do until now. This is a huge hit because they only printed this in Japanese. So I'm not sure what the value of this thing is in a PSA 10 or a PSA 9. So if you guys know, let me know in the chat. But this is a huge one. I've never, ever pulled this card before. They did not do this one in English. That is sick. So we already got the first. I'm going to put that one to the side put it in a penny sleeve as well. Got a Doe Duo. Ghastly. Charmander. Blaine Charmander. Come on. Coughing and wheezing. Got a Growlithe. A different coughing. So that's another thing too. In Gym Challenge, you actually have two different types of artworks for a lot of the Pokemon. So two different coughings. And. Ooh. Giovanni's. Gyarados. One of the two different Gyarados in this set as well. Another Ken Sugimori artwork. Nice. The Gyarados. We have any Gyarados fans in the chat? All right. Let's throw this one over here to the side. And I'm going to grab that Emu Kunis. So technically, there's two hits in that pack. All right. What is going on here? Guys, if you're new here to the Poke, let me get a hashtag new in the chat. If you didn't know, you could jump into the live chat right now and hang out, talk with one another. And yeah, if you are new, we're going to walk me here to the Poke Cave. We do live openings every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. But let's end this, end it with a bang here. This is Neo Discovery. All right. Here we go. First card goes to the back. Let's see if we can get one last big hit here. Really looking for Umbreon, Espeon. There's Tyranitar in this set as well. There's a lot of big hitters. Whoop, whoop. Got a Pupitar. Come on. Nice. Sand says Trulix won at the Gyarados. Come on. Oh, yes, yes. We got the, we got the Tyranitar. Oh, dude. I wanted this one. Trulix. Oh, I know you freaked out when you when that other Tyranitar came out of a pack before from a different set, I believe it was. I forget which set it was, but we got the Tyranitar out of the final pack. This is definitely one of the big hitters for Neo Discovery. That's probably my favorite hit of the night so far.
Final pack magic. All right, let's do a recap here for Trillix's hits. Check it out. Of course, we got the Emu Kuni's Dodu. I'm actually going to throw this one in a card saver. That's definitely a good hit. Tyranitar. Emu Kuni's Doduo. We got Giovanni's Gyarados. We got the Meganium. Vileplume from Jungle. Ditto from Fossil. And the Tyranitar from Neo Discovery. Ooh. That's a nice selection. And I'm actually happy that all of these different sets came out of those five. So you got one of five different sets there. There's also Rocket in these as well. So let's get it. We got a lot of hashtag news in the chat as well. Want to welcome you all to the Poke Cave. Squirrel Fan is in the house. Um, Ragnar is back at it. Eric, we got Dalton in the house. LOL, Pew Pew in the house as well. Jack is here. Thank you all for joining up to the Poke Cave, hanging out here and being a part of it. So, we're going to put these in. We're going to move on to our next person. As always, Trillix, thank you so much for jumping in to this opening. And if you guys stick around till the very end of this, that is when I'm going to announce next week's opening, which you can grab at thepokecave.com once I show it on the screen. But we still got a while to go here because it should be about 35 more packs remaining here. But let's jump into it. Next up we have... It is going to be Tim B. 2677. You have two packs coming out of these mystery type envelopes. Could be one of six different sets here. So the first one we're going to have here. Let's see what we got. Ooh, a really nice one. Neo Genesis to start it off. All right. Let's see what's in the second one. I can't wait. I just want to see. <laughs> I just want to see what's in here. Got some D. Uh, Hollow, Hollow card army in the house as well. And we get Rocket. So we have not opened one of these yet. Let's start off with Neo Genesis. I'm hoping Arceus can bless us with that Lugia hit. All right. Guys, thank you so much for liking the video and for hanging out here. We got 1,300 people and you guys are throwing in the likes. We got 1,800. Thank you so much. Let's start it off. Got a whoop, a whoop. You guys are flying in the, with the likes. We're almost at 2,000. The Madness. I appreciate it so much. Thank you, guys. You are too kind. You just, it's just flying through 2,000 now. You guys make it look easy. We got a Shuckle. Liquid Duck is in the house as well. Come on. Let's go, Tim. I want to see that Lugia. The Typhlosion. The Pichu would be sick as well. Let me... Boom! It read my mind. I should have called it. We got the Pichu hit out of the first pack for Tim. Tuesdays are always awesome. Tuesdays are always awesome. Let me know if you guys always show up here in the Poke Cave on Tuesdays. Put a hashtag me in the chat. Pichu. This is one of my favorite highlights in this set as well. You see the background is split between blue and like a reddish orange on the left side. This is the first Wizard of the Coast main set print of Pichu. And you're going to see a lot of first prints of Gen 2 Pokemon. The Pichu has a really nice swirl on the side there. Baby version of Pikachu. And again, Ken Sugimori for the win. That is a really clean card going into the card saver. Let's go. And we've got Rocket, of course, in Rockets. If you guys know about this set, there's the Dark Charizard and the Dark Blastoise. Let's see what we get out of this one. Pokemon in the house. Tyranitar every day. I appreciate all my hashtag um, me's in the chat that are showing up on Tuesdays for sure. You guys are always here, so I appreciate seeing your faces or your names at least on there. <laughs> Squirtle. The boss's way, I believe that card is. We got an Ekans. That's Snake Backwards. Then an Abra. And our final card after this one. We got the Energy. We'll take it. So this one's actually really difficult to grade in English because the entire card, if you look at it, is hollow from here down. So I'm not sure what the value of this card is in Japanese. We're going to take a look and see how it looks here. I'm not really seeing anything on that that would be like a scratch or like a print line or anything. So this is surprisingly, this is actually a really valuable card in English. I don't know what it exactly goes for in Japanese, but... Super difficult to grade. One of the most expensive in the English version. All right. Rocket Sloth. First time here on Tuesday. Dude, welcome back. 
All right, so we got our two hits here. The Pichu, definitely my favorite out of these two. All right, and let's continue down. Tim, thank you so much for jumping in on this opening. We're going to put these in here. You get the empty packs as well. Those are kind of cool to hang on to because they are old. I mean, all of these sets are at least like 20 years old plus from back in the day. Did any of you guys collect these back in the day, the original Japanese stuff? All right, that is going in. And we're just going to continue down here to our next person that's up. So... All right. Next up, we have Jack K. 2678. You have one single pack. All right. One single pack. Let's see what we can get. Felix with the Super Chat says the D Halu car card army is in the house. Welcome. I appreciate all of you tuning in. Jack, your pack is going to be. Oh, another Neo Genesis. All right. We'll do another. I'll, I'll take as many Neo Genesis packs as we can get out of here. First card is always going to be the hollow. They just get they just cut right to the chase in the Japanese cards. They're like, you know what? First card is going to be your hit. Shikarita. But we got to save that till the last in the pull cube. Spinnerack. It's going to be... Ooh, Bellossom. Okay, so there's actually two Bellossoms in this artwork. Bellossom Gen 2. Evolving from Gloom. We'll take it. Neo Genesis, the Gen 2 Pokemon. We haven't doubled up on a single card yet either, which is cool. So, so many different types of houses we can pull out of these as well. Six different packs. Adrian in the house, I appreciate that. Thank you for tuning in. All right, one single pack of Neo Genesis. For Jack. Thank you so much, Jack K, hey, for jumping in on this opening. Got that Bell Blossom to go in the collection. We're going to continue on here. All right. So, next we actually have Tom W, 2679. You got one pack. Let's see what we can do. TCG Revival in the house as well. Oh, no. I forgot my hashtag rehydrate. Uh oh. Uh oh. No water. Nothing. All right. Team Rocket. Gyarados is in the set as well. Charizard, of course, is a big hitter in Team Rocket. We want to see a dark Charizard, a dark Blastoise. Ooh, and there we go. Starting off with a banned card, guys. So, this Grimer is actually um, altered for the English. So, this card, in particular, you can only get this version of it in Japanese. So, I'm going to put that to the side because that is a hit right off the bat. Jolteon, nice evolution. And there's Eevee to go with it. Got a Psyduck. Come on. Slowpoke. Can we get the Dark Charizard? There he is! Betty Sleep. There we go! The Dark Charizard has already appeared. We're not even barely through this opening. We got the biggest hit out of Rockets. That was the second Rocket Pack. And on top of that, this thing looks flawless. Look at this thing. Centering is very good. Ooh, if this is like a, a PSA 10 or a pristine 10 from Beckett, whew, huge hit. Ken Sugimori, Dark Charizard. Already, ladies and gentlemen, we're pulling the Charizard. If you watched the yesterday's stream as well, we we're just pulling in Charizards left and right. Dark Charizard. Our first Charizard of the night. Hopefully not our last. And our first one from Rocket. Woo. It's already heating up in here. And on top of that, on top of that, Tom, you got the banned Grimer card. That is what I'm talking about. An original Dark Charizard, guys. This is all the way back like 20 years ago when this was printed out. To this very day, it's been sitting in that pack waiting for the day to get opened up. And today was the day waiting in there for like 20 years. Must have been boring. But either way, you're finally free, Charizard. We got you. The Dark Charizard. <laughs> Woo. All right. That's a really... That's one of the best... Rocket packs that you could get hands down because on top of that 
the biggest hit. You're getting the banned card, the Grimer. Woo. Hey, Jeff, I appreciate that, bro. Thank you for being here. All right. One stack of packs down. Three more to go. Next up, we have Marcus W2680. And Marcus is not messing around here. Because Marcus has not one, not two, but three booster packs. Let's see what's in the first one. I think it might be a Neo Discovery. Yes, it is. I can tell by the color right off the bat. So we got a Neo Discovery. I, I just want to see what's in the rest of these now. We got another Rocket Pack. We've got... That's a good point. Nat says the Grimer is worth more than some of the hollows in the set of Rocket. It is true. And another Discovery. Let's make a Rocket Sandwich. We're going to start off with Neo Discovery. Move into Rocket. And then we'll move into that final Neo Discovery. Okay. All right. Marcus W, best of luck. We're starting off with a Natsu. We got Ted Ursa. We got a Mareep Gen 2 Pokemon. So we got some Gen 1 here as well. We got the Eevee, the Unknown. Larvitar. All right. Give me an Umbreon. Ooh, Kabutops. I forgot about you. One of the coolest Kabutops artworks from back in the day. Kabutops out of the first pack. Look at that artwork as well. What do you guys think of this card? And on top of that, another one that's really good condition. Centering's looking really good. The hollows on these are always looking good as well as the backs. So that is a beautiful hit. Kabutops out of the first pack. Jasmine, I appreciate that. Brad the Collector in the house. Dude, what is going on? Allie in the house. All right. First pack down. Moving into our second pack. Rockets. Let's see if we get that Dark Blastoise. Come on. I know Blastoise 93 is in the chat as well, so... Let's go. Diglett Dig. Got a Kaboot... Uh, Kadabra. Ekans. Got to Eradicate. This is Rocket, so we got a Muck. Come on. Another band card, the Grimer is back at it again. We got a hit, second to last, and then we're going to hit our hollow now. Right after this one, of course. Gyarados! Nice, we got a dark Gyarados. So if you guys didn't know, the theme of the Pokemon in the Rocket set are mostly dark Pokemon. So like dark Gyarados, dark Charizard. And then in uh, Neo Destiny, you actually have some light Pokemon as well. Hey, Justin, I appreciate that, dude. Head style in the house, of course. I always love seeing you here. Okay. So. Neo Discovery is up next. <laughs> what do you guys want to see out of Neo Discovery? Let me know in the chat. One of the Evolutions, Umbreon, Espeon. Do you want to see another Tyranitar? Let me know. Let's see if we pull it. See if you can guess what the card's going to be, the hollow. So if you guys didn't know, every single pack here is going to have a hollow hit. Japanese um, cards from back in the day when they first started, they were like, give everybody a hollow. Everybody gets a hollow. And then they moved it to English and they were like, how about we only put hollows in one out of every three packs? Caterpie got a Scyther Scyther. Come on. Houndoom would be nice. Good call. Metapod. Fortress. We'll take it. We'll take a Fortress. Steel-type Pokemon. I forgot this one in the set. All right. So let's do a recap here for Marcus's hits. Three hollows, and you also got a band card, which is also always good to hit band cards. There's a ton of band cards from back in the day. So here's the Grimer. 
The grimy grinder. Grimer. Grime? <laughs> grimy? Grimer. All right, that one. Then we had our hollow hits. Kabutops would be my favorite out of those three. Let me know, guys. Which of these three hollow hits was your favorite? I'd go with... Even though I love Gyarados, this Kabutops artwork is amazing. But guys, if you are enjoying your time here, do not forget to smash that like button. If you're new here to the channel, I know there's a lot of new people here. Consider subscribing to the channel because we do openings every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. And we do a lot more openings than that too. We just we just do openings all the time here. We do Saturday morning talks with Pokemon. We talk about Pokemon cards, buying, selling, collecting, investing, everything that has to do with Pokemon cards. Do it here. So stick around. And be a part of the Poke King. But we are moving on. We're moving through to our next person up. And it is going to be Colton M. You are number 2681. And you have one single pack. One single pack. You know, Tom had one single pack. And got the Dark Charizard and the Band Coffin. So. Ooh, I just ripped that pack open a little bit. Whoops. Okay, so that... That was me opening that, and I when I pulled it open, I ripped this pack, so. The pack has been ripped. Let's see if I can open it now. It's all weird. Go like... Hmm. I think I might have to go in from the bottom. All right, Colton. Your pack requires surgery. There we go. Let's see what we get out of your single pack here. Umbreon and Espeon are what I'm really looking for. Um, of course, there's a lot of other really nice cards in this set. Ooh. Scyther. Get a Natsu. Why do I keep doing that? <laughs> Centret. Get a Metapod. Metapod, Metapod. And we got a Polyrath hit out of the, the one single pack. Polyrath. Number 62, 90 HP, that is our hollow hit. So Neo Discovery has a lot of different hollows in the set. Some are like huge hits. Some Pokemon are like, you know, not super, super popular, but Neo Discovery, it's like, I feel like it just cuts it right down the middle. It's either you get like one of the really big hitters or like a Pokemon that's just kind of so-so. But this one is going to Colton. Thank you, Colton, for jumping in. I believe, okay, I think I'm... I try to remember people's names associated with their usernames, and I'm pretty sure that this is, um, um, oh, I can't think of your name right now. <laughs> I know what it is. I'm pretty sure. All right, Colton, I appreciate you being in this. Let's keep it rolling, though. Next up, it's going to be Mort's S. 2682. You also have one single pack. Quick's Poke Cave. That's what it was, Colton. I'm pretty sure Colton is Quick's Poke Cave. Couldn't think of it. <laughs> All right. Let's go. Moritz. One single pack. What is it going to be? Let me guess. I'm going to say it's Neo Genesis. Rocket. We'll take it. Okay. Here we go. Let's see if we get have a rocket pack. If you guys are just joining up right now, we are live opening up vintage Pokemon booster packs from back in the day. Most of these are 20 years old plus. Six, six different sets. Generation 1 Pokemon, Team Rocket, Jungle, Fossil. We got Generation 2 Pokemon, Neo Genesis, Neo Discovery. There's also more Gen 1 Pokemon, um, Gym Challenge. The coolest thing about it is all these packs from back in the day have a hollow in each Set, and we got another band card. It's the band Grimer. The grimy Gri Grimer has returned for a third round. That one's looking really clean. Those are worth a good chunk of change. Got a Mankey. A Squirtle. Charmeleon. Will it evolve? Will it evolve? Nope. We got that energy again. But we'll take it. Because we got two hits out of that pack. 
nicely centered as well. That's like the biggest thing you probably got to look at. Headstock says, bro, bad cards at PSA are going for $150 to $175 now. One month before was about $100. A lot of them are definitely going for that and even more if graded in um, PSA 10. So I'm sure the Grimer in itself is a big hit. I'm going to put this one into a card saver as well because the banned cards, and there's a lot more. It's pretty funny that we're just getting the Grimer, but there are a ton of different banned cards as well. The Grimer is going in. All right, Moritz, congrats on those hits. Two hits. We're going to move on to our next person. We got... Tom G. Another Tom. Tom G. 2683 with one pack as well. Let's see if this Tom is lucky like the other Tom. All right. What is it going to be? Ooh, we got a fossil. We haven't opened this one up in a while. So another fossil one. Destroyed Gaming says, hey, Pilgrim, any plans on doing a members only vintage opening? I would love to, but wouldn't be able to because there would not be anywhere near enough vintage to be able to make sure everybody gets a pack for that from the members unfortunately i did have that as an idea of when i first was going to launch it but i decided it just would pretty much be impossible we got a cloister though ghastly we got a psyduck one of my favorite psyduck cards crabby grimer got a slow poke geodude and we got a Zapdos Legendary Bird, one of the three. The Lightning. Zapdos, this is an Arita artwork, another one of um, a really popular artist for Pokemon cards, especially from back in the day, Arita. The Zapdos out of one single pack. Woo! Oh, dude, absolutely, head style. Thank you for the info. Yep. Band cards are definitely awesome to collect and, and search for. I think the the one that um, is going for the most would be the Misty. There's a Misty band card. One of the gym sets. That's a really big one. All right, so next up we got Ricardo O, 2684. Also with one pack. Let's see if we can do out of one single pack here. And guys, make sure you stay until the very end of this. Because, again, at the end of this, I will announce next week's opening, which you can jump in to at thepokecave.com if you would like. Let's see. One pack. What is it going to be? I'm going to guess Neo Genesis again. Ooh, Team Rocket. All right. I feel like you really can't get let down with any pack that comes out of these at this point. All of these sets are from back in the day. These actually came from the original store owner from back in the day that had these in the shop. Opened up the booster box on a lot of these and just had them out on the counter. I think the store closed down eventually and then these were in storage for a long time. Just waiting to get opened up here. And we got them here in the Poke Cape all these years later. So pretty cool to see like where all these, you know, where these come from really. Machoke. And we got a slow bro hollow hits. Rocket slow, bro. You can actually see Team Rocket member in the background there. They have one of the other things with the Japanese cards is you'll notice the hollows are really nice. Like, look at the sparkle on this thing. And there's like a half swirl. You can see it goes right behind slow, bro. Slow, bro. Slow, bro going in. And we are going to continue down to our next person, though. We still have a bunch of packs left here. We are almost halfway through this. So if you guys are just joining up right now, you're still in time. Because we got plenty of packs to go. Plenty of holo cards to pull out of these. You never know what you're going to get. Next up, though, we have... Kenny F2685. And you have one pack as well. All right, let's see if we continue with a big hit out of one single pack here. I think that might be Neo Discovery. Yes. Okay. Neo Discovery. Let's see what we can get out of this. Jonas says, stay hydrated. You know what? I, I do. I'm so... 
I might have, okay, this is what I'm gonna do. This is what I'm gonna do. I forgot. I forgot my water. The first time I think I ever forgot my water. So this could be bad. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set out a carrier pigeon Eevee for water. Because I use my phone to, to film, if you guys didn't know. Okay. I sent help. Pidgey, bring back water bottle, please. Let's see if it works. Alright. Kenny F? Otherwise, I might not make it. <laughs> Got a Natsu. Dunsparce. Larvitar. Give me an evolution. I want to see an evolution. Hopip. Igglybuff. Yes! Yes! I was looking for that! Umbreon! The, one of my favorite, this is probably my favorite card out of Neo Discovery, is the Umbreon. Dude, how can you not like that card? Look at this thing. The Umbreon has a full moon behind it, with like, the silhouette sort of of the Umbreon in front of it. You can still make out the Umbreon, but like, that is epic. It's up on top of like a rock. This has got to be one of the best Umbreon cards. Guys, let me know if you think this is one of the best Umbreon cards. Man, we are hitting all the big hitters tonight. I have to, all right, I, I just have to look at this again. The one pack magic for Kenny. What do you guys think? I love that card. That is my favorite from Neo Discovery. All right, Umbreon. I'm gonna have to set you free. Congratulations on the hit, Kenny. We got the Dark Charizard, we got the Umbreon. We're getting the hits here, we're getting the banned cards. Always is a fun time opening up Japanese vintage packs with you guys because it's just like a box of chocolates. Everything you open up is just gonna have something amazing inside. All right, well, we're gonna keep moving to the next person up. We got Matthew C, 2686. Two packs, two packs it is. All right, let's see what we get. The squirrel on that thing, the artwork. It's insane. All right. What do we got? I'm going to guess. I'm going to guess Genesis again. It's not. <laughs> I'll take a rocket again, though. We got Team Rocket. And. Oh, I don't want to rip the pack open. Okay, I'll just guess Genesis again because I got to get it eventually. I got it. Okay, Genesis. All right, Neo Genesis and Team Rocket. What do you guys want to open up first? The Genesis pack or the Team Rocket? The Genesis, get the Lugia, the Typhlosion. We hit the Pika, uh, the Pichu. You get the other starters fully evolved. And then Rocket, you can get the Dark Charizard, Dark Blastoise. Uh, oh, a water bottle has just appeared out of thin air. Oh, thank you. Actually, you know what's cool? I could show you guys something. I have... So these are like... This is what it would look like in the store. Like, back in the day. This is the original booster box. So, this will be like the Neo Genesis booster box. These will be in here. There's 60 in a booster box. So that's what they, these look like. I love having these in my collection just to put them on display. But that would be like the empty booster box. And then the rocket booster box will be like this. Oops. So it's kind of cool to have these in the collection. Put these back. There we go. All right, let's do it. Um, I've seen a lot of people say rocket. A lot of people saying Genesis. Let's do Neo. I think we got a little bit more Neo. Here. All right, Matthew. Can we get the Lugia? The Typhlosion. The Feraligator. Get a big hitter. Got a Ladybug. There's a lot of Pokemon in this artwork. Chikorita, Mareep, Totodile, Sentret, Larvitar, um, Murkrow, Hoppip, Hoot Hoot. I like when they have a lot of Pokemon in the artworks. Another one with a bunch of Pokemon. Swinup. Miltank. Hollow Hit is going to be. Ooh, had a cross. Heracross, and it's in battle. Check it out. First off, there's a swirl behind its head. 
Then I'm like 90% sure it's about to battle a pincer because you can see like the top of pincers, um, like horns or whatever you want to call them on there. So Heracross about to go head to head with the pincer. I mean, who's going to win this? Heracross or the pincer? I got my money on pincer, but you guys let me know. And like, I think that might be, it's almost like a double swirl. All right. Genesis first pack. Heracross. Heracross. Team Rocket, back at it. Let's go. Jesse and James on the front there. Meowth. Seen a lot of people say Pinsir. Could also be... Oh, yeah. Heracross. A lot of people say Heracross, though, too. Hmm. Either way, it's epic. Meowth. Got an Abra. Can we get another Dark Charizard? Ooh, Band Grimer. Perfect time. Band Grimer card. Already got a big hit. Getting so many of these. It's funny how this is the only error card that we've got. We got the Emu Kunis Do Duo too, which was just a card that um, they just didn't have in English. Charmeleon. Okay. Hollow Hit. The Magnet Sign. We have not hit this one yet. We have not doubled up on a single card either. We got the Magneton Hit. Look at the, the, the sparkle on this thing. This is like, you can actually see me. Look, you could, this is how reflective this hollow pattern is. You can literally see me in this. There's me. There's my phone. Magnetide going into a card saver. <laughs> the pincer versus uh, Heracross battle is going on in the chat right now. <laughs> and the Grimer's going in as well. All right, let's do a recap here for Matthew. Hey, Pokedeek, I appreciate that, dude. Thank you so much for being here as well. Of course, guys, our mods all down below in the description. Make sure you check all of them out. Show them the love because they show us the love here at the Poke Cave. And we almost have 2,000 live viewers here hanging out in the Poke Cave. Thank you all for being here. That is incredible. The Grimer, the Magnet Side, and the um, Heracross. I almost said Pinsir there for a second. Out of those two packs... And if anybody is new here, which I think there's probably a bunch of new people here, consider hitting that subscribe button. And if you do, turn on notifications by hitting that little bell so you get notified when we go live here. You do not want to miss it when we are live. All right, so let me know if you have been here from the very beginning of this till the halfway point because we are officially halfway through this opening. We probably got about 20 packs remaining. Let me get a big old hashtag start to mid in the chat. And if you were late, no worries at all. Put a hashtag late to mid so I can thank all of you for being here and being a part of the Poke Cave. All right. We continue onward here to see what else we're going to get. We move on to our next person up. And it is... We have... Chris D, 26, 87, with one single pack. So, let's see what we get out of one single pack. Let's go. What is it going to be? A lot of start to mids in the chat. Ragnar, Joe, the Pokeverse, Jarek, Emily, uh, Jonathan, Preston, Johnny, Jake, St. Germain, Nicholas, Brad, Jeff, Mystic, uh, Mystic Muse, late. Jeff was late. Hey, no worries at all. I appreciate you being here and joining up. Marcus, no worries. You can always join up whenever you'd like. All right, I think we got a Genesis pack, judging from the colors on here. Yes. All right. Can we get our Lugia or our, Tarf our Typhlosion, our Feraligate? I'm trying to remember everything that's in these sets. There's just so many big hitters in a lot of these. It's like a jar of cookies. You just grab one, and you're good. More Crow to start it off. We got an Oddish. Having an awesome day today. I hope you guys are as well. As always, we keep it here... Uh, we keep it poke positive here in the poke cave. So, as always, make sure you're having fun. Hang out with one another. Help each other out. I know a lot of people have questions in the chat as well. And I appreciate all my hashtag old and ha all my hashtag fossils in the chat. Hanging out and showing the love. Come on. I want to see Lugia. Ooh, for Alligator. I'll take that. That was one of the other ones that I was hoping to get. For Alligator, the water starter. Evolving from toe to dial. Gen 2 starters. I feel like they're up there with Gen 1. Whenever I chose my Gen 2 starter, I was I look at them like they're all really cool. You really can't go wrong. Same thing with Gen 1. 
For Alligator, out of one single pack for Chris D. Cannot go wrong with the Neo Genesis pack. Every single pack, you get a holo. Alright, that one is going in. And we continue down to our next person. Of course, there's a ton of other banned cards. Hopefully, we're going to start pulling some of those as well. Chris, I appreciate you jumping in this opening. But next up, we have... Brandon L2688 with one pack as well. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Li tuning in from Norway. Overhead says, over your head says, sweet, gotta catch them all. That's right, gotta catch them all. We got a Neo Genesis again. All right, is it time for a Lugia or a Typhlosion? Let's see. Neo Genesis is the first print run of the Gen 2 Pokemon. The first of the four Neo sets, Neo Genesis, Neo Revelation, Neo Discovery, and Neo Destiny. Some of the best Generation 2 sets. Whooper Whoop and a Quagsire. Got an Onyx in a cave waiting. Draft Rig. We got a Spinarak. A Centret. Or Furret. And an Azumarill. We'll take it. Another card. We... Have not doubled up on a single hollow yet, which is pretty crazy if you think about it. Another hit here, the Azumarill. All right. We'll take that. Going into the card saver. And we're going to continue on and see what else we can get out of here. The madness continues. Hollow hits. Let's go. Next up, we got Jonas S. 26.89 going in with two packs. All right, let's see if we get a generation two pack and a generation one. Best of luck to Jonas S. Let's go. All right, the first envelope. Hey, Digging the Diglet, I appreciate you being here as always. Thank you to everybody that's tuning in here tonight in the Polka Cave. Hope you guys are having a great one. Mm. Jungle. Genesis. Genesis. We, we've been hitting Genesis for a little while now, but we'll take them. Honestly, one of my favorite Gen 2 sets. Alright. Jungle? Destiny. We got two Generation 2 sets. Destiny and Genesis. Let's start off with Destiny. Seek says, I am late. No worries whatsoever. Yes, I am. Aurora Lights. I'm going to announce the next opening at the end of this. So, guys, stay here. Stay put. If you have to go somewhere, just throw it up on your phone. Throw it up on your laptop. Whatever. You can throw it in the background. Stay to the end so you can see what we're going to be opening up next week. It's going to be something that we've never done before. And it, it's it's going to be awesome. I'll tell you that. It's going to be awesome, as always. <laughs> got a Scyther. Ted Ursa. Stealing the honey like Winnie the Pooh. Hyper Potion. Whoop whoops We got a Larvitar. You know what I just realized? I always feel like I learned something new about cards when I, like, is it, like, do you guys think that that is maybe a pond? Now, I'm just realizing this. I, maybe everybody knows this besides me, but is that Larvitar actually standing right here and then looking into, like, a pond at its reflection and then that's, like, the clouds in the sky? Let me know. Or is that just super obvious and I'm just like, I just, I should have known that like 20 years ago. All right, Yarsarik, we'll take it. We will take it. Another hit that we have not got yet. That's actually really sick. I like that one. Okay, a lot of people are saying it's reflection. Some people didn't know. Some people are on my side and like, yeah, just didn't realize it. <laughs> All right, okay, it's like half. It's half people say yeah and half people said, um... That they didn't realize it. Okay, so I'm not. At least I'm not the only one. <laughs> hollow hit out of the first one. Well, of course, it's a hollow hit, <laughs> but it's a your story. <laughs> hey, Dylan. Thanks, dude. I appreciate it. <laughs> All right. It was obvious once I said it. Said Stubby. <laughs> Elekid. Got a mill tank. Matthew said, "Never thought about it." I guess. <laughs> Kevin says we're woke here. <laughs> Alright, draft rig. Are we gonna get that Lugia hit? Metal energy! We haven't hit this one yet either. 
Actually, we did double up once. The rainbow energy from Rocket. But we got a metal energy. This is another one in English. It's very difficult to grade. And it's one of the most expensive cards in Neo Genesis in English. I don't know about Japanese because they're on point with the, the quality here. The Japanese cards are like usually like almost flawless. Like this one probably would get a 10 from PSA. More likely than not. Yeah, that's right, Ragnar. There's, there's always an awesome story behind a lot of the sets and a lot of the cards because... A lot of the cards, there's all different artists that do them, and you gotta think about what they're thinking about and what you don't see in the picture because there's a lot of cards with the artworks where you don't know what's on the other side. Like there's a, um, a pseudo Wudo who's looking through like a bunch of bushes and you can't see. And there's also another one, I think it's like a polywag or something, looks like shocked. It's like looking at something, but it's out of the frame. So you kind of, you gotta wonder like what, uh, what was the artist thinking and what was not in the picture. Would be cool to sit down and talk to some of the artists one day and talk about like their thinking behind some of the artworks. There's gotta be stories behind all of them. Everything has a story, guys. Alright. Let's move on to our next person up. We have Cedric C2690. He's grabbing one single pack. What is it gonna be? Let's see. Maybe a challenge pack, maybe another fossil, maybe a jungle, maybe a genesis. We'll take it. All right, genesis pack. Let's go. We're still on the hunt for the Lugia, the Typhlosion. All right. Got a Hoot Hoot. Hoot Hoot. Cyndaquil. We haven't hit you yet. Starter Pokemon Cyndaquil. It's like a tiny out in like a bedroom. Pseudo Wudo. Got a Noctale. Chikorita, starter number two. Can we gonna get a Toto Dial in here? No, but a fairy on a swing. And is it Lugia? Is it Lugia? Is it Lugia? Skarmory! Okay. It's Skarmory. I thought it. I didn't realize it was the steel type, but we got a Skarmory yet, another Pokemon that we have not hit yet. A Ken Sugimori artwork. I like those light rays like going diagonally across it. Pretty awesome stuff here. And again, guys, if you are just joining up here, because I keep seeing more and more people join up, we're opening up old school vintage Pokemon cards from back in the day, like 20 years ago, plus six different sets. Really cool stuff to be able to open this together with all of you guys here live in the Poke Game. I hope everybody is having an awesome time here. The Skarmory out of one single pack for Cedric C. Skarmory. All right, we'll take that and we'll move on to our next person. We've got... All right, Jonas F is actually up next, 2691. And you got three packs. All right, triple. We got three packs. Let's see what we get out of here. Let's go. It seems like you're having an awesome time in the chat. Kevin's Collectible just joined up and said, better late than never. Hey, absolutely, dude. Riley says we gotta get the song from Detective Pikachu playing in the background. That would be cool. Alright. First pack. Genesis is back again. And I'll take as many of these that we can get out of here. Genesis. We've got... Let's see if we got any more rockets. We got a... Oh, we got a fossil. Okay, we'll take fossil. The artwork on this fossil Japanese pack is sick. There's actually a volcano erupting in the background and a thunderstorm. That's awesome. And our third pack is going to be... Hey, Kyle, thank you. Ooh, another fossil. All right, so we saw on the hunt for that Dragonite from Fossil. So let's do it like this. We'll make a Genesis sandwich. You take two pieces of bread, fossil packs. You put a Genesis pack in the middle, and there you go. Fossil pack to start off. Still get some of those legendary birds. Gengar would be amazing. That would be amazing. All right. One from the back. One from the front to the back. Start it with a Golduck. Let's see if we can get Dragonite, Gengar, legendary birds. Haunter would be nice. Got a Grimer. A Slowpoke. Kabuto. 
Lapras! I forgot about that. Lapras is in this. Lapras out of fossils. This one's actually really off center. It's actually, it might get the OC grade if you were to grade this. And does it have a double swirl? Oh, there's a swirl right there. So it's got the swirl. Lapras from fossil. Definitely a lot off on the centering, but uh, could get the OC grade, which is actually really cool grade to get. Um, pretty collectible. Either way, a Lapras out of that first pack of fossil. You guys ever play the game and then just go right for it and grab a Lapras as early as possible? Get Surf and get going. Genesis, you're up next. We still have not hit Lugia or Typhlosion. I would say those are the two biggest hitters in terms of value. I want to see if we can get one of those maybe out of one of these. Somebody's asking what the swirl is. So basically a swirl is on the hollow. So you can see it right there. See how it looks like a swirl right there? It's in the hollow pattern. You're not guaranteed those. Sometimes you get more than one as well. You see them a lot more often on the Japanese cards. Total dial and it bobs. Snubble. All right. Skarmory! Got another Skarmory. So we doubled up on our Neo Genesis Skarmory. Ken Sugimori is back. 227 is the card number. The steel type Pokemon. Kyle says, I am a sucker for swirls. <laughs> Phoenix. <laughs> the Kyle army is here. <laughs> All right. Final pack is a fossil pack. Let's go. Dragonite. Let's go. We got to get the Dragonite. I'm going to call it right now. I'm saying there's a Dragonite in here. I'll make one bold call per opening, and this is going to be it right now. I'm going to say that there's going to be a Dragonite in here. I actually called a Dragonite before one time out of a Fossil Pack. Tentacool. Ekans. Got a Grimer. Kabuto. There you have it, folks. The Dragonite is here. And I called it somehow. Dragonite out of the last pack, the fossil pack. Woo, this one is definitely way off centered too, but it could get the OC grade. But either way, we just got a pack fresh. Dragonite. I'm starting to get that alien type of power where I can predict the, the pulls here. I don't know what, uh, just it's from hanging out with aliens so much. Boom. The Dragonite is in the house. Either way, this is a huge hit, even though it wouldn't get a PSA 10 due to the centering. Dragonite. Probably the biggest hit out of Fossil. Definitely the top three. To a lot of people, it's the biggest hit. We're just getting the hits. Let's do a recap here. Check this out. All right. We started it off. Arceus did the blessing. That's right, Brian. <laughs> With the swirl, says Jose. And digging the diglet. We got a Lapras. Then we hit the Skarmory. And then we got the Dragonite out of that pack. I don't know. Starting to get some alien powers. All right. We're going to move on to our next person. We still got probably a little over 10 packs left. And then again, guys, at the end of this, I will announce next week's opening. So let's go. Let's go. Next up, Colton is up. I see you, Quicks Poke Cave, in the chat. You're up next. This is Quicks Poke Cave. Let's get it. Let's see if we can get you. All right, so 29 or 26.92. All right, let's get it. Let's get it. So. Oh, I'm sorry. You actually have three packs. Yes. 2690 there with three backs. One, two, and three. You are going big, my friend. Best of luck. Quick spoke cave. Let's see what we get out of these three packs. Let's see what the packs are first. <laughs> we have Rockets. Next pack is gonna be 
Ooh, Jeff, you're getting your Pokemon Yellow back from VGA tomorrow? Hey, best of luck. Let me let us know. You gotta let us know. Ooh, another good one. You can get a chat you get a Charizard out of this one. You get a Charizard out of this one, the Blaine's Charizard. And the third pack. The Poke Beard. <laughs> Blastoise 93 needs to get that Blastoise. We gotta get and a or Blastoise out of there. Ooh, and we got a discovery. A really nice selection. Let's do them in order that we pulled them out. We'll start with Rockets. Let's go. All right. Best of luck. Quick Spoke Cave. All right. The first pack. We're going to take that front card. Put it in the back. That is always the hollow on these. Still have more people join up here. Let me get it again, guys. If you are brand new to the Poke Cave, you've never been here before, let me get a big old hashtag new in the chat right now. And we're going to welcome you here to the Poke Cave. We're gonna, we do openings every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. A ton of more stuff as well. So cons consider subscribe. I can't talk today. Consider subscribing to the channel and stick around. You will not regret it. And Abra. Charmeleon has appeared. Got a giant Diglett just destroying a city. There's a car, like, in the sky just flying up. Come on. Quick Spoken Cave. We got a Vaporeon Evolution. Ooh, the Doug Trio. We haven't hit this one yet. Busting into a house as well with that Diglett. We got so many new people here. Keegan, LPS. We got Mark. We got Daniel, Rodrigo, Michael, Roach, Zach. All right. Daniel is in the house as well. We got a ton of new people here. Spencer. Super cool to see all of our new people here. All right. We got two more packs for Quick Spoke Cave. Got the Doug Trio out of the first pack of Rocket. Let's see what we got out of the next one here. Got a hashtag rehydrate. It's heating up in here. We don't have a ton more packs left, but we still got a bunch. Little Geniuses, I appreciate that. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much. Gym Challenge. The challenge here is can we pull that Blaine's Charizard? We haven't hit it yet. We did get the Dark Charizard out of Rocket. We want to see if we get Blaine's Charizard to go along with it. Let's go. Ivan says stick around. Got a Koga. Charmander. There's Blaine's Charmander. Koga's wheezing. As you guys can see on this set, the gym sets feature the gym leaders. So that's Giovanni's Nidoran. We got Blaine's Tauros. It's a trainer. I think that's like a rocket science experiment. I think this is transparent walls. Koga's Zubats. Koga's Pidgey. The carrier pigeon. And we got a Rockets Mewtwo. Nice. So, the Mewtwo is in the house. In the Poke Cave, I should say. And the cool thing about this is this is the first time they actually made a hollow thinner. So, if you check it out, see that Mewtwo, the hollow is actually not as um, as big. See, it actually, it, usually they come down to here, but they cut it off up to there to make it like a thinner hollow. But that is the first time they ever did that. This is the Rockets Mewtwo. Looks like it's getting ready to attack charging up the move rockets mewtwo is the second hollow hit but we still have neo discovery yeah absolutely mark the dragon i did have a swirl on it that was pretty epic the cool thing is a lot of these japanese cards will have the swirls all right looking into the pond the larvitar Caterpie. Got a Metapod. It just evolved. Ooh. Corsola. Got a Natsu. Come on. What are we going to get? We got a Weedle just floating along on a leaf. That's got to be relaxing. Unless the leaf breaks and it falls through it. And nice. A big hit out of our last. So this actually, it's difficult to grade for English. But I'm, I'm not sure about Japanese because it's different for the Japanese cards. But this is definitely really tough to get from Destiny in um, English. I think it's like under 10 in the population report. But a nice hit out of the final pack. All right, let's do a recap for Quick's Poke Cave here. And still pulling in hits that we have not got yet. We really haven't been doubled up, doubling up very much on the hits at all. Um, let's do it in order that we pulled them out of here. 
All right. Three hollow hits out of our three packs. Three different packs. The Rocket Challenge and Discovery. All right. Hey, thank you, Quick Spoke Cave. I appreciate you being here as always and being a part of it as well as everybody else that's here. Thank you so much for being a part of the Poke Cave, guys. You guys are the ones that make the Poke Cave what the Poke Cave is. Let's keep it rolling. We still have. Let's see how many packs we have left. And then we're going to move on to our next person here. So, got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Exactly ten left. So, ten more packs. If you are just joining up here right now, we still got ten more packs remaining. Vintage old school Pokemon booster packs from back in the day. We're going to open up the rest of these. Let's get it. Moving on to our next person up. We have Jake M. 2693. You've got two packs. Two packs. Agent 21 Gaming says, Hello, Pokerev. That Doug Tree you pulled looks like an Among Us character. I still haven't played that game. You guys play Among Us? I need to play it. It looks like a lot of fun. Maybe I'll download it tonight. Neo Discovery is our first pack here for Jake. Let's see what our second pack is going to be. Belsagi, what's going on? Welcome to the Poke Cave. Come on. Roxanne, he says, come on. Ooh, we got two Discovery for Jake. All right. So we did get the Umbreon. Let's see if we get that Espeon out of here. All right, best of luck on your first pack. Rocket Sloth says it's pretty fun. Got to check it out. Um, Rodrigo says, where do you get these packs? So actually, these packs in particular came from an old store owner. So owned this, a store, like a card shop back in the day. I don't know if it closed down or what. Put, it, put the cards away in storage, like certain sets like these. Um, and then we got them here in the Pokecave to open up all these years later. Spinarak, Poliwag, in a pond, underwater. All right, not two. Unknown. Oh, another Tyranitar. You cannot have too many of these. A nice hit out of our first pack for Jake. Tyranitar. That is epic. Two Tyranitars. If there's a Pokemon to double up on, it's got to be Tyranitar from Neo Discovery. That is one of the biggest hits in Neo Discovery for sure. All right, and then we got another Neo Discovery pack. Let's see what we get. Got a Weedle. We've got Poliwag, Hyper Potion, a Caterpie, Kabuto. Let's see what we get. Come on, we got a Whoop and Whoop, Natsu, Metapod, and. A Polyrath to finish off that pack. Another Hollow from Discovery that we actually hit before. So we actually doubled up on our two Hollows, but a nice hit. I gotta say, though, that Tyranitar has got to be my favorite out of the two. What about you guys? If you can only pick one, would you pick the Tyranitar or the Polyrath? Let me know. All right, Jake, thank you for jumping in on this opening. The two Discovery packs... But we still have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more vintage old school booster packs to open up here. Let's see what else we can get out of these. What are we going to get next? A jungle pack, maybe. Fossil pack. We could get a rocket pack, a Neo Genesis, a Neo Discovery, a gym challenge. Let's see. Let's see what we get. They're all randomly inside of these envelopes here. So we got Daniel C2694 up next. And you have one single pack. All right. One pack it is. A lot of people saying Tyranitar. Some people saying Polyrath as well. All right. What do we got? Another Discovery. Piling up the Discoveries here. All right. Neo Discovery. Let's see what we get out of this one for Daniel C. 2694.
These have the original Japanese Pokemon card backs. It even says Pocket Monsters on the back. The Pokeball looks really old school, not like the ones that you're used to seeing. They switched that over during the E-Series, like a couple years after these were released. Maybe about a year, actually, after this in Neo sets. All right. Still want to see a Houndoom out of here as well. Secret Rare Raichu, a huge hit out of this back. We got him. So, I completely forgot about this. Secret Rare Raichu is in Rocket Set in English. And in Japanese, they put it in Neo Discovery. You can tell it's a Secret Rare because the rarity symbol on the bottom, if you check it out, is actually white. So... It's a white uh, star at the bottom there for the rarity symbol. The Secret Rare Raichu. Now, this is the artwork that you would normally see in Rocket in English. It didn't get released in Rocket for Japanese, though. It got released in the Discovery. Check it out. The Thunder. That is a huge hit. And again, so like normally the rarity symbol on the bottom of these would be like a black symbol, but they got a white symbol because it is a Secret Rare. That's a huge hit out of one single pack for Daniel. <clears throat> Crazy, right, guys? You normally see that in Rocket. Not used to seeing that out of a Discovery pack. All right. Going in. That is a really good hit. I wasn't really expecting to hit that. They're, they're really hard to pull. Daniel C., congratulations on your Secret Rare Raichu. That's the Pokedeek Raichu. <clears throat> so we're gonna keep moving on though we got plenty of packs to go we're, we got a decent amount of packs to go let's say that <laughs> so um next up we got um who do we got next oh okay we got a medio m up next 2695 you actually have three packs and we're coming down to it that is going to be three off the top and then four more after that let's see what we get out of these Hopefully we get another jungle, another fossil maybe, another rocket will be cool to see. Let's go. First pack. Looks a little yellow. It might be Discovery or Genesis. Oh! Jungle! We haven't hit a jungle pack in a while. Now look at that artwork. I almost feel like the fossil pack is where that volcano is. On the fossils you can see the volcano erupts all the way back there. And this is like the jungle... And you can see it's like the, the background is like a the maybe a volcano. That's the story. You never know. You never know what the reasoning is behind a lot of the stuff. Second pack is gonna be for a media. Trent saying two jungle and one fossil. Let's see. Oh, we got a rocket. Another gen one. So we're pulling out the gen one packs right now. And then we got got we got oh the rockets nice two rockets and one jungle so we actually got all gen one let's see what we can do out of here let's see what we could do all right guys let's do rocket first and then we'll do a jungle and then we will do another rocket all right first rocket up we still want to see if we can get that dark blastoise Best of luck, Media. Abra. Machoke. You got a Magnemite. Primeape. And Mankey. Back to back. The Evolution. Got a Squirtle. One of the coolest Squirtle artworks from Rocket. Giovanni. And the Hollow Hit is going to be another Rainbow Energy. I believe this is our third one of the night, so we actually tripled up on this hollow, surprisingly. But it's looking to be a good condition card, a pretty well-centered card as well. So, Rainbow Energy hit out of the first pack. Let's go. Rocket Sloth is calling it. Dark Blastoise incoming. We're going to see. Maybe we can get it out of that last rocket pack here. We're going to move into Jungle. James is calling the Scyther. I want to see Snorlax. Let's see if we can get a Snorlax out of here. Alright. Ooh, we got a Butterfree. 
First card here. Gloom, just drooling like normal. Nothing out of the ordinary. Weeping Bell, we got a Nidoran. Bellsprout. Bunch of eggs. Cubone. These almost look super, like, contrasted. Like, I don't know if... I don't know, you guys let me know. I feel like they just got, like, a lot, like, like, they bumped up the contrast. And I don't remember if this is, like, if they're normally like that on jungle all the time or just, like, sometimes. Because I feel like that Meowth is super, like, even the eyes are purple. And that's normally not like that. So, could have been the print run, maybe. The ink on the printers or something could have been a little bit off. But that looks a little bit different than what we're used to seeing. Pikachu, it almost looks like, yeah, like, the contrast is up or, like, the ink is, like, super... Like, brand new ink or something. All right. What are we going to get? Ooh, the Scyther. James called it. I saw you call it, James. That's not the first time that you made a call correctly. Scyther Sai in the house. Ken Sugimori artwork yet again. A nice hit for Jungle. We haven't hit that one yet either. Could get the evolutions out of Jungle as well. Frank said Jolteon would have been cool. The Cypher said Flareon. Jeff called the Snorlax. Dude, nice. Scyther Sai out of the second pack. We got one more rocket pack here for Emilio. Let's see if we can get a big hit. Ryan said, yeah, the contrast looks like it's super ramped up on those. <laughs> James has some alien powers here. 100%. All right. Final pack for Emilio. Now we're going to come down to only four more packs. Jolteon. This is Rocket. So Dark Blastoise could be in here. Another Dark Charizard could be in here. Let's see. Oddish. Got a coughing. Flareon. We're getting the evolutions. We got Jolteon, Flareon. And a Machamp. We have not hit this one yet either. Machamp, Hollow Card. Dark Machamp, number 68, an Arita artwork. Ken Sugimori and Arita are just dominating with all these artworks. And you got a swirl right above its head there. Four arms. All right. Here we go. I'm going to show you guys a recap here for Amedio. We started it off with the Rainbow Energy, which is actually the third one we hit tonight. Scyther Sai, the Machamp. Three packs, two rocket, one jungle. Bunch of Gen 1, uh, Gen 1 packs. I can't talk tonight. <laughs> a bunch of Gen 1 packs. Decipher said, James, let us know what's coming up next. <laughs> Always calling it right, James. We got four more packs remaining. All right. What are we going to get? Jonathan J, 26, 96. You're up next. You got two packs. So only two people left. And then the next person has the other two. So, Jonathan J, let's see if we get some big hits out of these final four packs here. Two for Jonathan. All right. So, we got Rocket. First pack is the Rocket pack for Jonathan. Let's see what our second pack's going to be. Maybe a Generation 2? Hmm. Let's see. And Jungle! Another Jungle set. So, two Gen 1 packs coming up here. Let's get it. Um, Roll says, any thoughts on Logan Paul collecting cards? Hey, yep. So, a lot of there's a lot of people been coming in. Um, especially this year, back into Pokemon cards. But the cool thing about it is a lot of people collected back in the day. And then, um, a lot of people jumped back in this year as well. So, um, reigniting the spark from back in the day. I always think it's cool to see people jump back into Pokemon. So, always cool to see people jumping in back into what they love rocket we'll start, we're gonna start with rocket for jonathan let's see all right and guy welcome to the poke cave adventurer membership thank you so much for joining up i appreciate you being a part of the poke cave make sure you check the community tab for posts exclusive to members that will give you information on the members exclusive openings this month's opening well october is going to be coming up Pretty soon, I'll probably announce it maybe tomorrow, um, but pretty shortly. So check the community tab for the information on there. It'll be coming up soon. And yeah, let's go. Oh, there we go. Started off strong with the band Grimer, the Grimy Grimer. 
All right, we're going to put that one to the side. We'll penny sleeve that one up. We got a Machoke. Poor got in a box. I don't think we hit that one yet. Dratini. I don't think we hit that one yet. We definitely didn't hit the Dragonair yet. Got a Magnemite. Primeape. And we got a Weezing. A Dark Weezing out of the first back. We have not hit Weezing yet either. But we'll take it. Number 110. Nice condition card as well. Go into the card saver. Kyle says we need some more Zoss. But the cool thing about that was that was a double banger pack because you also got the Grimer. The banned Grimer card. We'll take it. And JK, welcome to the Poke Cave Explore membership. I appreciate you joining up and being a part of the Poke Cave. Thank you all for being here and being a part of it. Jungle Pack is up next. What are we going to get out of this one? Emily says we need more Zoss. Justin says we got to Zoss it up. All right, let's Zoss it up. The spicy Zoss. The hottest Zoss. Let's go. Parasect. Got a Goldeen. Goldeen, Goldeen. Yeah, like, look at that. These are super... I wish I had... I wish I had some jungle cards sitting around. Do I have any? I don't have any right by me. But, like, this right here is super contrasted. It's like blown out contrasted almost. Like they did it too much. Even I could see even on the Venonat. And I don't remember if this is normally like this on the Japanese cards or not. Or if it's like not very common to see it. I'm not sure. But I could tell they're super the contrast was like pumped up to the max on these. Eevee. That's a nice hit as well. Pikachu, another these are like the three most popular um, commons in jungle. Back to back to back. Cubone, Eevee, and Pikachu. All back to back. That is really good. All right. Give me a Snorlax. Oh, Vaporeon. Dude, even better. A Vaporeon Evolution. Hollow hits out of the final pack for Jonathan. What a way to end it for Jonathan. All right. And we are continuing because we still have. A couple more packs remaining here. We still have a couple more. Let's see what we're going to get. So we'll do a recap here. We got... Justin called it. Nice. A Weezing. We got that... Grimy Grimer. And we got the Vaporeon. But it comes down to the last two booster packs of this opening. We got to end this thing with a bang here. So let's get it, guys. Throw it in the chat. Throw in any good luck emoji you could think of for these last two packs. And let's see if we can get some massive hits out of here. I'm not sure which packs are remaining. So if you guys want to know what we could pull, the Neo Genesis, the Neo Discovery, Rocket, Fossil, Jungle, or Gym Challenge. Six sets. I'm super happy to have been able to put all these in one epic opening for all of you guys. I think this is one of the coolest things, um, types of openings that we do here. Everybody can get a hollow hit. Um, old school, different sets. Like, I feel like it's all these things in one opening, which makes it a ton of fun. But all things have to come to an end. So this is the final two. Gerald C26, 97. You're the last person up in this opening. And let's go. Let's get some big hits here. Oh, you guys are blowing it up. And make sure you stay until the last pack is opened up because I'm going to announce next week's opening and it is going to be awesome. We got a Neo Genesis, a nice pack for one of the two. One of my favorite Gen 2 packs for sure. Lugia or Typhlosion to end it on would be huge. That would be massive. Lugia or Typhlosion. We got one more pack as well. Let's see what this one's going to be. And Jungle. Another one. Evolutions. Uh, Snorlax. Gengar. Or no, sorry. Uh, Gengar's Fossil. But yeah. We'll start with this one. And we'll end it on the Genesis. So, Gerald C. Best of luck. 
and Ryan is send, saying the Lugia is incoming. Keith is saying Typhlosion, my favorite, my favorite card. A bunch of other people want to see that Lugia Typhlosion. All right, we're gonna end it with Genesis. We'll do um, Jungle right here. But let's go. Simple Sailor, thank you for the five dollar super chat. Is there a plan to implement more per member preferred pack openings and better system to notify your members for regular? and members sales events. So, for the members openings, we do that once a month at the end of the month. Um, at the moment, it's just the one members opening where you can grab as many packs as you, as you would like and they never sell out. So at the moment, um, that is what we're doing for that. And you do get notified on the members community tab. So um, just stay tuned down the, down the road. I'm gonna be implementing more things as we go along here and um, hopefully can make it better and better just overall the channel and everything for you guys. So I appreciate you all being here and being a part of it. Nidorina, we got a Persian. We got a Dodrio. Goldine. We got a Nidoran. The Diabob version. We got an Oddish. Paris. It's always an interesting background, that one. A Mankey. We've got Meowth. That's right. And an Electrode Hollow Hits out of our second last pack for Gerald. All right, so we haven't hit this one yet either. And even the hollows have like a super high contrast. Very interesting. These, I mean, these pop because of that, like crazy. The background too. An Arita artwork, Electrode, second to last pack, but we still have one final pack remaining. Can we get it? Can we get Lugia? Or Typhlosion. That is what we're going for, I think, out of this final pack. Two of the biggest hitters. I really think we can do it. I just got a feeling we can do it. We always, a lot of times we get that last pack magic. We got a hashtag rehydrate up for this final one. Chikorita, Cyndaquil, Totodile, and Lugia. Let's do it. Final pack magic. Will this card right here be a Lugia or a Typhlosion? Started off with a Murkrow. Pretty odd Oddish artwork. Cedra. We got an Oddix. Final pack of this opening. 40 booster packs. Vintage booster packs from back in the day. Six different sets. OG stuff. Gloom, drooling, yet again, and sleeping. Cyndaquil, foreshadowing for that last card, maybe? Pseudo Wudo. We've been known to hit some last pack magics in the Poke Cave, guys. Many times. Can we do it again for Gerald? Pseudo Wudo. Ledeon. And our final card. Of this opening is going to be oh metal energy out of the last bag so we didn't hit that Lugia or Typhlosion but we got the metal energy as well as the electrode for Gerald C out of our last two packs but guys I had an insanely insanely fun time opening all these packs with you guys but do not leave just yet because right now I'm gonna announce next week's opening where you guys can grab packs at thepokecave.com. As soon as I show it, you guys will be able to grab it at thepokecave.com if you would like. So, give me one second here, and I'm going to pull that up on this uh, website here. So, we're doing something that we haven't done before, and I'm actually really excited for this, because number one, it's old school. Like always, on Tuesdays, we do the old school openings here in the Poke Cave, and it is always, it is always a ton of fun to be able to do those with you guys. But, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you what we're opening up. And the other cool thing about it is that I'm going to be able to get more people in this opening than normal. And it's still going to be an old school opening. So, next week on Tuesday, we are going to be opening up an old school Wizards of the Coast set. And it is going to be... It's pretty cool, actually. It is going to be... A Fossil Unlimited Case of Long Packs. So, if you guys know Fossil Sets, this is 
a case of long crimp packs. There are 72 inside of here, so 72 packs will get open. This is factory sealed all the way back from the year 1999. It has the original tape on here, and you can even see on the bottom of the box, Pokemon. 72 count inner. This is the fossil set. I believe there should be 24 at least hollow cards inside of here because this is technically two booster boxes, 72 packs. Normally there's 36 packs in a booster box. But besides that, guys, we're also opening up on Sunday the, or the Japanese version of Vivid Voltage. We're opening up seven booster boxes of these. And for the rest of this week, coming up the next few days, I'm going to be dropping some new videos, some stuff that you guys have not seen before, maybe even a new series. So stay tuned for that. It has been an insanely fun time here hanging out with all of you in the Poke Cave. Thank you all for tuning in for this. Hope you guys have a great day, and I will see you on the next one.